I'm Helen Robinette and here's my next tip for helping you to create your personal brand style. And today it's all about networking functions. How do you behave? What do you do at a networking function? Usually the first thing they do is give you, or even at a conference actually, networking or conference, you get one of these lanyards. Fantastic, aren't they? Stick it over your head and then what does it do? It spins around so you can't see who the person's name is. But look at where your eye has to go to read the name tag. It's actually not okay. It's not professional. You don't need to be connecting with someone else's navel. They don't need to be connecting with yours. So get rid of the lanyard. Remove this thing here. Great for keys, I think, but no good for what you need to do. And then the clip at the back, the name tag always clips up to the top right hand side of the jacket. Why? Of course there's a good reason for that because when you shake hands to meet somebody and in our Western culture we do that with our right hand, the human eye of the other person is traveling down the arm, off it goes to your name tag, reinforces what your name is, helps them to remember it. People like their names, use people's names because if they didn't like them, they would change it for sure. Next you're at the networking function and you need to have a series of business cards and instead of just pulling them out of your shirt pocket, having a business card holder or a supply of your own business cards in one pocket, the cards you're receiving go into the other pocket. And the appropriate way to hand over your business card, while more respectful, is to hold it with both hands. It shows a sign of respect that you value the position and the business that you're representing, and it shows the other person that it's important to you as well. What happens at this networking function or the conference? There's all this fabulous food around, and it's free food, which is fantastic. So first thing you do, you get your drink because there's a waiter walking around with a tray full of champagne, beer, wine, soft drink. It's fabulous. And then along comes all this great food. So all of a sudden you've got a plate, you've got a glass. Uh-oh, along comes somebody to meet. What are you going to do now? Mm, what do I do? Do I put the glass on the plate where the biscuits are? Um, hang on a minute, excuse me. And then what happens? It's going to topple over. Here's the solution. Don't eat. You're not there to eat. It's not about that. Organise dinner beforehand or wait and have dinner afterwards. Do hold a drink and be social. Nothing wrong with that. Never more than one or two alcoholic drinks at a networking function because, boy, I've seen some people say and do some pretty funny things and it doesn't reinforce or help them business-wise later. So the reason you hold your drink in your left hand is so that you can receive and shake hands with the right. Because if you're holding the, the drink with your right hand and the drink is cold, then you're shaking hands with someone and that, oh, that feeling of the cold isn't a great initial first impression. Little things, big impact, it matters.